It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer and Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. And the global markets closed mostly unchanged on the week as earnings season winds down and companies delivered strong earnings up a whopping 25% for the quarter and with all indicators pointing to continued economic growth. Now, in spite of all this good news, equity prices globally continue to be buffeted by several headwinds. First, the fear of the Federal Reserve continuing to raise interest rates. Second, a trade war with China. And lastly, North Korea still has their nuclear weapons. Now, geopolitical risk came to the forefront Thursday when the Trump administration called off the much-awaited summit between them and North Korea. And they announced on top of that, they're considering new tariffs on cars and auto part imports. In addition, yields on the 10-year Italian government bond rose to 2.5%. Now, this is the highest level since 2014 and reflects the worries about the new Italian anti-establishment government, spiking fears of a new sovereign debt crisis in the Eurozone. Now, the 10-year Treasury yield fell just below 3% here in a good old U.S. of A. And the 10-year yield in Germany is less than a half of 1%. And on top of that, the 10-year government bonds in Japan and Switzerland yield barely anything. So I think it's safe to say that the U.S. 10-year at 3% is still the best place in the world to park your bond dollars. In summary, it's been a frustrating week and what's been a frustrating year of good days followed by equally bad days, leaving most portfolios unchanged for the year. You know, it really points out the importance of dividends and interest so you get paid while you wait. Now, trying to time this type of volatility always results in tears, and you want to continue to take advantage of the buying opportunities that these market pullbacks present. And you don't want to miss out on the gains that come in a big, booming bull market.